Okay, this is a joint probability distribution of two discrete random variables, x and y. And what we have here is a table. So x can equal uh, 1, 2, and 3, and independently y can equal 1, 2, 3, and 4. And what we have here is the joint probability of both occurrences. Now, as you can sort of see from the table there, that pretty much everything is given in terms of c, or well, apart from one or two cases where we get 0, which you can actually just argue is 0c. Okay, so essentially the first thing asks us to do is to calculate C uh, and then calculate the marginal distributions of Y and X. So I'll sort of do both of those together. So what I'm going to do is actually just set up a little table here. Okay, and just to sort of start us off, I've actually filled in part of the table, but what I've done is added in some row columns, row totals. Uh, so uh, 6, 4 and 2, that's 12C. Okay, I'm just writing in sort of red pen here just to the one side just to make it a little bit easier because I've got follow up later on in a second. Uh, 3C, 2C, 1C, that is 6C. 2C, 4C, 0, that is 6C. And so 6C, okay. So 12C plus 6C plus 6C plus 6C is equal to 30C, okay. If you were to double check there, uh, you would find a uh, double th sorry 30 C should equal to 1 necessarily C is equal to 1 over 30 okay we'll actually just take a moment to double check that partly because it helps us with the next question anyway is uh, 3 C plus uh, sorry 6 C plus 3 C plus 2 C plus that is 15 C okay 4 C 2 C 4 C that is 10 C and 5c okay so essentially what we could do there is replace all of those probabilities uh, i'm going to keep everything mostly in terms of 1 over 30 okay so i could actually write 6 over 30 as 1 fifth this is 6 over 30 but just for the sake of the calculations we have coming up i will leave it alone okay so 4 over 30 2 over 30 and so on and altogether that is 12 over 30 which is uh, 40 percent i'll just write that in there 40 percent that's 20 percent or not 0 0.20 if you prefer that's 20 percent and that is 20 percent okay so actually i'm just going to sort of make sure i'm not uh scarring the uh, the paper behind which is with these pencils sorry just get myself set up here again and keep going there we go so 15 over c is 15 over 30 which is uh, 50 percent that is uh, one third essentially 33.33 percent and 16.66 percent okay five over 30 being uh, so on okay so Somebody's trying to email or Facebook uh, me there, so never mind that. Okay, and you can go on likewise with. Um, uh, so uh, you can go down here, we get 6 over 30, 6 over 30, 6 over 30, 15 over 30, 10 over 30, and 5 over 30. Okay, you can actually sort of like reduce that, for example, down like 20% or 33% or 0.66 if you want. But I'm actually sort of happy enough with that because it helps me with the calculations we have coming up. Now, just to be clear, that is the marginal distribution of y there down the bottom. Okay, those values there. Okay, or if you want to keep it in terms of like those 6 over 30, whatever you like. That is the marginal distribution there of x, that column there. So that total column is the marginal distribution of x. Okay. So the next question, so that's the first two questions done, actually. The next question we're asked, let's go back here, is calculate the expected value of x, the expected value of y, the variance of x, and the variance of y. Okay. Then later on, we have to calculate the expected value of ex. Okay. We'll come back to that later on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up these two tables here, okay? So the probability of uh, 1, x equal to 1, is 50%. Or I'll just actually write that in terms of sixths, okay? So just, just, just because we don't need to be uh, 
2 over elaborate. Uh, 3 sixths, 2 sixths, 1 sixth. Okay, just divide all of those terms by 5 above and below. So we have uh, 3 over 6, 2 over 6, and 1 over 6. Okay, so what we have to do here is calculate x times the p of x. So calculate, so this is 3 over 6, 4 over 6, and 3 over 6. And when we add that up, we get 10 over 6, or I'll simplify it to 5 over 3. Okay, we do something similar here. X, so we need the expected value of x squared. This is to calculate the variance. That is actually the expected value of y, uh, x there. Okay, that's the answer to that question. Okay, do you know what? We'll actually do um, this one down here. So I'm going to write the probability of y in terms of fifths. Okay, so this is two fifths, one fifth, one fifth, and one fifth. Okay. Uh, y times the probability of y that is two over five plus two or plus two over five plus three over five plus four over five that gives me eleven over five that is the expected value of y okay so what I'm going to do now is calculate the uh, the expected value of x squared okay and the reason we do that is because that helps us to calculate the variance we'll also do it for y squared also down here okay so x squared is 1 4 and 9 okay uh, 1 uh, 1 which is 1 squared uh, times uh, the probability of x is 3 over 6 4 times 2 over 6 is 8 over 6 and 9 times okay 9 over 6 okay Add all of those up, we get uh, we, we get 20 over 6, or in other words, 10 over 3. 20 over 6, which is 10 over 3. So we'll just come back to that later on, that 10 over 3. Uh, we'll do something similar here. Uh, calculate the value of y squared. 1, 2, uh, 3. Oh, no, sorry, 4, 9, and 16. Just had a bit of a blip there, okay? So 1 times 2 fifths is 2 over 5. 4 times 1 fifth is 4 fifths. 9 times 1 fifth is 9 over 5. And 16 uh, times 1 fifth is 16 over 5. So what we get there is 31 over 5. Okay. Let's just check that. I think I might have... 31 over 5, yeah. Okay. So, um, that's grand. So essentially, we have the expected value of a and the expected value. Sorry, the, the expected value of x and the expected value of y. So what are we going to do now? Is we're just going to calculate the variance of x and the variance of y. And sorry, I'm just going to pause this a second. Just get my bearings. Okay, so it's already just pick up there. So essentially what I'm going to do now is just actually in the last page, I just found that the expected value of x, which is the sum of x times the probability of x, is 5 over 3. So what we want to do here is calculate the variance of x. So in this situation, what we use is this little formula here. E times the, uh, the, the expected value of x squared, which we also calculated. In this case, it was 10 over 3 minus e of x to be squared. So remember the square is inside the brackets here and outside the brackets here, okay? So we have the expected value was of x squared was 10 over three. The expected value of x was five over three. So we have 10 over three minus five over three squared. Okay, so actually just let's sort of re-express everything in terms of over nine. So 10 over three is actually the uh, equivalent to 30 over nine. 9 over 3 squared is 25 over 9, so the, the variance of x is 5 over 9, okay? Now, the expected value of y, which we found to be 11 over 5. Uh, we found the expected value of y squared to be 31 over 5. So you do something similar here, the expected value of y squared, which is 31 over 5, minus the expected value of y to be squared. So essentially what we do there is we square that, okay? We get 121 over 25, 
oops, it's just gone out of shot there, 121 over 25. So we have 31 over 5, so what we'll do is multiply above and below such that the denominator is 25. So we get 155 over 5, okay? And in that case, we have 155 over 25 minus 121 over 25, and that gives us our answer, which is 34 over 25. So that is, um, I'm going to leave this video, uh, I'm going to stop this video here and move, start another one, uh, and, and the next one I'll look at the covariance.